Hello, Jeanette. Jeanette Sanchez. Ah, I could pronounce that last name. <laughs> okay, so I am reading that you were born on July 19. Usually, the cusp peaks on the 23rd of the Cancer Leo cusp, so you are the beginning of the cusp. You are entering the cusp, and you are more of a Cancer than Leo. Uh, I want you to think of Alexander the Great when um, we talk about this cusp. You know, that's an archetype kind of cusp, uh, famous one, per se. Uh, it's a really, really, really cool cusp. It's probably my favorite one, since it's my op uh, polar opposite. It brings the most growth to me. I learned so much from you. So, hey, thank you for the growth. Um, you said that your moon sign is in uh, Aries. That's a fire sign. And you're also a bit fiery because you have your Leo. Now, moon signs, it's like where you feel safe. It's like how you deal with your feelings, how you pause the world when you are at home kind of deal. And to have it on Aries. Aries is the youngest brother or, or sister of the fire clan. So think about it like a little kid or a little girl when they are so unconditional and so loving. They just hug you and they are like, they tell you, I'll conquer the world for you and they mean it and you know that's really 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 powerful Aries is like to uh, show the world how it's done they sure um, raise the bar that's pretty cool that's really 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 cool sign to have in, uh, in a moon sign um, you said that your rising it's in cancer cancer it's very dual. It's a dualistic kind of sign. It's right next to uh, Gemini, I must say. Uh, cancer has two, two vibes. Um, you know, that's why they call the crab. It's soft in the inside and hard in the outside, like the shell. Uh, your rising sign is your social mask. You know, it's, it's like you're the cusp of Leo and uh, Cancer. But you operate in the world via cancer, you know? So you behave like a cancer. Uh, you, that's your social mask. Now, you could go either way. You know, you're a water sign. And you know, the, if a situation presents itself to you, since you have the cancer in you, which reinforces the cancer in you, you are able to adapt very quickly. That's a really, really cool quality that you have there. I would assume that you have also the ability to, you know, handle that image in front of people. And it also, the embracing vibe of, hey, you're at home with me kind of deal. Like, it's okay, you know. You make people feel comfortable and safe around you. Even when they first meet you. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, this forum is about soul chemistry, which is pretty cool fascinating subject and um, you are wondering about your query spices dude contestant um, Aquarius is the opposite of uh, of uh, Leo you know so that right they bring that right there brings you growth look at it this way if I'm a Leo if an opportunity comes along I jump Ah, oh, I take full advantage of it right there. And sometimes if you don't jump the train, you miss it. And, you know, there goes your, your chance. And the Aquarius is more thoughtful. You know, it sits back and thinks about it. It's like, hmm, should I do it? Should I not? You know, see the variables. More of an observant kind of sign. So if you put those two into balance, it's great. You know, because if the opportunity is really an opportunity, then you jump and you're like, ah, oh, let's do it. But if the opportunity is really not an opportunity, you learn to wait and you learn to pass it by. Because if you would have jumped into that train, you would have gone in a really wrong place. So it's really awesome for you to um, always seek your polar opposite, per se. And that also works in your opposite uh, element, not just the polar polar opposite. So, you know, think about that one. Um... The Pisces is the same element as you. You are a Cancer and he is a uh, Pisces. You're the older brother, you're the youngest sister. 
um, it's a good combination, you know, in essence it really is, because it has your, the growth of your opposite, and it's got your element, and you know, when you have, when you meet someone with the same element, you're more empathetic about it, like, if they behave a certain way, you're like, oh, you know, uh, I can see me doing that, I, I get it, leave you alone, or I'll let you be, kind of deal. In order for us to really go into depth in that chemistry, um, ideally it would be to have the rising sign, the moon sign, uh, and the sun sign. If it's not pushing it, the Venus, because that's the loving planet, you know? Um, I would say right now that that info, it, it works, it really does. Of course, keep in mind that it's a combination of variables. We are unique. These are just tendencies. So we are, we have our own unique character. However, however, if you uh, submit a bit more info, we can go from there. Thank you for listening, and that's that.